today to show you how we are going to transform this room into an industrial style. We are going to start this process by applying a whitewash technique on the brick wall behind me. Once that is done, we'll complete the clock stencil in cloud white. There are no set rules in how to apply whitewash technique. You can either add equal quantities paint and water together and wash it onto the raw brick or timber surface or you can do the technique that we are going to show you today and um, we will simply paint paint on use a damp cloth and wash it onto the raw brick surface the color that we are going to start with is called sheriff stone we are going to make use of various neutral colors to make sure that we get this perfect um, industrial look on the brick wall First, I'll be using both a paintbrush and a damp mutton cloth to get the process going. Dip my paintbrush in the paint and now I'm going to start to play and have fun. I'm now going to open my other neutral colours and start playing around with various colours. So the effect I want to create is a dark border or frame on the wall with lighter inserts in the centre. I'm actually not going to dampen my cloth again. The dirtier the cloth is, the better and the easier it is to get the final finish. So what we are going to do next is we will be finishing our stencil on the wall. This is a nice big wall stencil but it was done in different segments just to make a nice big wall feature. We do have a beautiful choco, authentic choco stencil range on our website and also available at our stockers. If you need custom made stencils we can also supply that service. Because the stencil is so big, I will be needing some assistance. Simon will be here to assist. Next, I'll be using some cloud white poured into a paint tray and a foam roller to do my stencil work. A very important tip when doing stencil work is to make sure that the paint is evenly distributed in your foam roller and that your foam roller is not too wet and filled with too much paint, else the paint will leak in underneath your stencil and it will be a disaster. So what I do is I put some paint on my foam roller and I start working with my foam roller in my paint tray to make sure that, it, that it's being distributed evenly. I'm happy and I can feel on my hand that it's not too wet. Now I'll be using both hands to secure my stencil with the one hand and I'll roll with the other. I press very lightly. I rather can come back for a second coat than press too hard and paint starts leaking.
our paintwork is still brand new, so I'll just touch up the areas where the masking tape has removed some of the paint. And the wall is complete. Now that the walls are complete, it's time to transform the rest of the bedroom. Keep watching the home channel to see the next step of this industrial themed makeover. Visit thehomechannel.co.za for a full list of choco paint workshops and more. For stockist opportunities, email nadine at chocopaint.co.za. Happy painting!